and we are live hello everyone welcome to the show uh you might notice that we are down a joe and a dan those bastards um so we're doing a one shot uh we're doing it in tiny dungeons uh because it's a fun little one shot system and the name of tonight's adventure you're all gonna be so excited for this is hanks to know you it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh, oh boy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess let's go through and do a quick intro. Who you're all playing. And That's we're all a little thing. messed up. What's that? We're, I. Well, I guess I'm Jake tonight. What? Yeah, I'll be playing uh, Tyler tonight. <laughs> what? Oh, I had just fixed that. <laughs> Who did what? I had this all fixed up. Okay, you go up here. And you two swap. It was right before I toggled it over. Okay, now things are right. <laughs> oh, th there we go. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I've got this thing open twice. I don't need it open mysteries, twice. Mysteries of the internet. Yeah. That's how you know it's a Defenders of Cobalt stream. Right, right? off the bat. Technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do some... Uh, just give me a quick rundown of who you're playing tonight. And we'll get right into it. Because... I really don't know what I've done for tonight. It's... I, I, I Regrets. Uh, Alex, who are you playing? I am playing a fungoid creature known as Sexy Fred. Very nice. John? Yeah. I'm playing Reign of the Green Blade, a uh, Karu, uh, which is like a bear, uplifted bear, basically, uh, who is a uh, firefighter, comes from a family of firefighters, and he's covered in, in burn scars. <laughs> Because only you can prevent forest fires. Uh, your your zoom background goes with <laughs> that too. Well, that's yeah, nice. Yeah. It's very nice. Uh, Jake. Uh, I'll be playing uh, an elf with a spear and a bow named Jerry. His family trade is a linguist, but he wasn't very good at that. So he became an adventurer. Okay. Can't go wrong there. And Tyler. I am brute. Okay, good enough. Copyright Defenders of Cobalt. Copyright Defenders <laughs> of Cobalt. All right. Uh, let me, I'm going to take everyone over to our images screen. And let me make sure the stream is seeing what I want them to see. You all wake up. You're cold. You're wet covered in sand you hear the sounds of waves crashing onto a shore and you look around and you realize that you are on a beach no recollection of how you got here you've got everything you've got all your stuff on you you're kitted out but yeah no idea how you got here what do you all do Rain is going to lumber to his feet and give the big bear full body twist shake to get some water out. Yeah. The rest of you are sprayed with water and sand. Now, Rain, as you're looking around, you can see not too far down the beach, there's a series of like driftwood and whatnot logs that have been dragged to spell out the word help on the beach. Did you kill my brothers to do that? No. Are you sure? I'm not sure of anything right now. How did we get here? I don't Who are know. you? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Rain. You were the one that was spooning me, so... Well, you floated very well. <laughs> All right, fair enough. 
I'm Jerry. All right, let's uh, check out this. <laughs> let's check out this driftwood over here. I w- wish not to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you head over to the driftwood. Um, looks like it, it might have been here for a while, like the bottom of it's kind of like washed away a little bit. And you see it's got kind of like sand starting to pile over it. Uh, but kind of as you look around, you can see that there's a, a trail very kind of uh, rutted deep trail like you know they were dragging these logs and whatnot uh and it leads up into like the jungle of this beach well now i gotta find out who is killing my family sure do you yeah. want to follow the trail i'll start lumbering down the trail sure i'll follow behind um you go a little ways and kind of start cutting through the brush and everything and you all come to a very, very crude, looks like abandoned campsite. Remains of a like little fire ring, a uh, ratty tarp kind of set up as a tent, um, like coconut husks, a few basic like implements for survival. Um, all of it looks, you know, like crudely handcrafted. Um, the tarp looks like it's the only, you know, thing that wasn't created from the stuff of the jungle here. Hmm. I'm going to search around and see if we can figure out what happened. Maybe see another sure. um, trail going gonna, off into the woods deeper or something. I'm going to call it Hello! Yeah, big anyone here? Bear bellows out hello. Ooh. Anyone here? No answer. Tyler, why don't you go and just give me a standard test? Ooh. Double success. Um looking around. It looks like someone had lived here for quite a while. Like you look on one of the nearby trees and they've got like notches cut into the tree. Um uh, very much reminiscent of like what you would see in like a a prison cell for how long someone's been there. And there's hundreds of them. Okay. Um, also looking around, you find a very crude, uh, like rope, like made out of like plant fiber. Uh, it's thin, looks strong. There's like maybe like 80 feet of it, like coiled up. Um, but no signs of anyone. Like if there were footprints, they've, it's been long enough that, you know, nature has kind of taken it back. Do I? Okay. But you do, as you're kind of looking around, you can see that there is a trail. It's a smaller trail that leads deeper into the jungle. Either whoever was here got rescued a long time ago, or they were eaten by cannibals a long time ago. That could be. Either way, we should find something to eat if we go that way. Yeah, for sure. Looking around, you do see lots of coconuts uh, hanging from the trees. Definitely you see coconut husks, old coconut shells. It looks like it was, you know, used as bowls and cups, and cooking vessels. We found a lovely bunch of coconuts. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yeah, do you all follow the trail leading out of the camp? Yeah. Is Sexy Fred coming with us, or is Sexy Fred still on the beach? That's you, Alex. Say that one more time. (laughs) Are you still on the beach, or are you uh, coming with us? I'll roll with you. Okay. Yeah, it's snakes, maybe 10, 15 minute hike through this jungle, and eventually you see it's approaching this large, kind of sheer cliff. And the trail's just leading right to it. And kind of once you get there, you can see that there's this, it opens up into a small clearing. Um, There is a pile of what you initially thought were like sticks and stuff at the foot of the cliff. uh, Until you look a little closer and see that it's a pile of bones. Um, And then looking up the cliff directly up from this pile of bones, maybe 50 feet up. Uh, you can see a mouth of a cave opening. 
Ah, see, called it cannibals. Yeah, do the, right do in the that cave look, over there. Do they like like chewed on or anything uh, like that? Give me a test. Sure. Good call. Good call. Double success. Uh, they nice. don't. No. All right. In fact, kind of looking at them. Uh, they've all got like broken legs, broken heads, like fractures in the ribs. Uh, you can see that there's definitely signs of like impact damage, like they were climbing up to that hole and fell. So uh, I will relay that to everyone else and be like, I think they fell trying to climb up to the hole. Hmm. Sounds like a good deduction. Does it look like, like, can I see if there's like a path that people, you know, judging by how they fell, can I kind of estimate like where they tried to climb up? Uh, yeah, I'll say you definitely, you looking where they fell, it's like directly underneath the hole. You can see there's plenty of handholds and whatnot. Um, a little ways, just kind of maybe a few feet down, a little bit off to the side. You can see there's an old kind of gnarled tree, like small, uh, sticking out of the cliff face. Um, but you're kind of guessing. You can see like wearing on some of these spots that would make good handholds. Like maybe a good number of people have climbed up into that hole. Do we think... Um... You said there's like a tree growing out near the side or near the top? Yeah, next to the hole, there's a, a tree. Well, um, I think we all have an adventure kit, so some of us, one of us should take our 30-foot rope and... Yeah, I'll tie some rope to my uh, spear and try to throw my spear up to a nook that I can hook onto. Okay. Uh, you have mastery in your spear, right? Correct. So I'm going to say trying to throw a spear and get it to stick into a nook on a cliff wall is going to be kind of difficult. Uh, so I'll say for this, it would kick to disadvantage, but since you've already got advantage, it goes down to a standard test. All righty. Lava spear. hoo -ah! Yeah, yeah you do. You launch nice. it, and it sinks really hard like into this uh, tree that's sticking up there. You give it a tug, and it feels very firm and solid. Solid enough that you would feel comfortable climbing it. I'll then attempt to climb it. Sure. Uh, you've got a rope, um, well secured. I won't make your roll to do this. You start shimmying up, heading towards... You know, kind of wait down below, just in case he falls. Just catch him. catch him. Yeah. Yeah. Or eat him, you know. <laughs> Depending on how yeah. if he survives. So yeah, Jerry, you make it up there, then it's just a little reach up from there into the cave. Uh, you can see that this has kind of been set up as like a, like someone was living here, like the remains of an old sleeping uh, area, markings on the cave walls. But uh, what really kind of catches you is maybe like 20 feet back, you see a door, like mm. a regular ass door. And you can see that there's a crack of light, like underneath the bottom of the door. There's a an ass-shaped door with a glowing crack up here. You guys need to check this out. <laughs> I have to see that. Uh, Get your ass in that door. <laughs> uh, uh, sexy Fred, you seem like you're probably a smaller person. You want to take the rope? I, I don't think I should take the rope. I'm kind of big. I can take the rope. Okay. Those of you who take the rope don't need to give me a test. Uh, since, you know, Rain isn't testing the rope's fortitude here. Now, Rain, I will need a test from you. Just a standard oh, test. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I am the size of a, of a brown bear, so makes sense. Yeah, you guys are doing good so far. Yeah, you find handholds. You've got your claws to kind of help you get good uh, good leverage in there. Uh, and eventually, all four of you make it up. And yeah, you're all standing in the mouth of this cave. 
uh jerry mm, bent over in half oh no uh veronica hey how's it going uh jerry you grab your spear and you you get it free of that log and you take your rope back but yeah you're no, all actually I, I think i'll leave the spear in there uh just in case we have to make a hasty retreat okay so um i mean okay uh but i mean yeah. there could be cannibals up in that butt we don't know yeah, as you look ahead, there is that door, just a regular door with light coming out from the bottom of it. What do you all want I to see? with my 10 gold, I have a bow, oh, oh, which I, I have also mastered in. Okay. So, uh, Rain, as you're moving towards the door, all of a sudden, just like this plume of like dust and smoke forms in front of it, and you realize you are looking at something. A creature um, that will now be visible to you next to the beach. Oh, oh my! Hmm. That is no vacation spot I want to go to. <laughs> Enter. Undertake the tests. Witness greatness. It stands oh, to the side. Hey there, Oak. Stands to the side and kind of gestures at the door for you. Is there a way I can just like go around this ride? Or... Only through will you find escape from the island. <laughs> All right. Okay. He beats eating coconuts for the rest of our lives. That sure works. Does it? Do you know that? You, you know what? You don't That's have a to fair eat. point. You, you don't <laughs> yeah. have to eat coconuts. There might be other things. Just saying. Yeah, like people. Right? There's, right. <laughs> <laughs> or birds, or fish. Well, what do you, you care? Eat. You're a bear. You're fine. You uh, I know. I'll eat whatever you put in front of me. Okay. Say so, yes, yeah, people. <laughs> Or coconuts. One of the two. If you get ants out of the log, it is like eating raisins. All right, look. I'll, I'll take the test. Um, if I get a passing grade, great. If not, I'm fine with coconuts. Can I have a cheat sheet? Yeah. Um, do you know... Uh, who knows the answers to the test? Oh, great. Uh, Ball-headed monstrosity. My name Those. is Wilson. I mean, uh, oh, great ball headed Wilson. Do you know the answers to the test? I do, but it is for you to discover them on your own. Wouldn't be much of a test, I suppose, otherwise. Yeah, it'd be really more like a um, copy paste sort of. Yeah. yeah. Well, all right. Um, what do we ask really nicely? Do we have any idea what these tests are? Do we get to know that? Oh, great, Wilson. Ahead you will yeah. find six tasks. Moments in history. Forever etched in the mind of the world. All you have to do is see these moments through to their completion. That sounds interesting. And then you will be gifted with the sight of greatness. Cool. Uh, all right, then. I guess we should go, right? Yeah. Okay. Sounds, sounds fun. Later, Wilson. Yeah, you you open the door, you step inside, the door closes behind you and just vanishes. You're oh, now cool. in this brightly lit room. <laughs> it's a circular room. Standing in the center of it is an odd glass case with six nooks in it. Mm. And Anyone looking... else hungry for pie? Right? 
And looking around, you see that there are six doors. I bet we have to retrieve something from each of the doors. And what is this, Trivial case. Pursuit? Yes. Wedges of pie. Bubble gum, bubble gum, in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? All right, I'll start with current events. <laughs> you guys do sports. No, no, goddamn. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll do sports. I'll do geography. Pop right. culture. <laughs> All right, I guess uh, just pick a door. Is there anything in, uh, distinguishing about each of them? They are all identical. We've I'll take go. an arrow, put it onto the uh, the device in the middle of the room, and just kind of spin it. And okay. whichever door that the arrow points at, that's the door I'm going to go to. I, oh, I thought we had to go to the left first or whatever. Roll me a d6, Jake. All righty. Why do you think we had to go to the left? Wasn't mm-hmm. that the rule? I don't know. I mean, technically, we could each go to a different door, but I don't think that'd be wise. The door, you push it open, and you can see that it opens up to a small prison cell. Well, I'm going to knock an arrow before I go in there. Sure. Could be cannibals in that prison. Could be. <laughs> I'll just straight on in. Oh, you lost your spear. Yeah, the door uh, disappeared, so I'm kind of screwed. Mm-hmm. Oh, the... Oh. Who all goes in? I mean, I think we all should, right? Yeah. Oh, that would go in behind them. All right. All right. As soon as you go in, the door closes behind you and vanishes. Small oh, gel yeah. cell, cell doors closed. It's a toilet, small uh, little, uh, you know, end table thing, sink, bed. You can see that there's some, looks like game pieces carved from stone sitting on a window ledge and a poster of a woman in a fur bikini. Mmm. Dips. I'm going to grab the poster and roll it up. You grab the poster, and behind the poster, you see that there is a large tunnel dug through the wall. Poke my head into the hole. Continues for quite a ways. Can I fit in there? It's a tight squeeze for you, but yes, (laughs) you'll be definitely shimmying. All right. I'll start shimmying in. I'm curious where this goes. Only one way I will that. shimmy in behind him, knowing that whatever's in there, uh, my good bear friend that I just made earlier today is going <laughs> to take the full hit. I mean, I'm going to try to shimmy, but I'm 12 feet tall, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, God. It's an even tighter <laughs> squeeze for you. Like I said, I'm already bent over at the way, so... Like you're you're doing the worm to get through this. Mm-hmm. Sure. Eventually, you all make it through, and you find yourselves in like the back, like <laughs> steam tunnel maintenance area. And there's a large steel pipe. Hey there, Debbie Snacks. Thanks for the sub. Large, like metal pipe, huge, with this hole broken out of it. Uh, it's a very large hole, and you can see that this pipe is filled, maybe like quarter of the way with like sludge anyone an expert on sludge no my family were linguists I I look at sexy Fred this is kind of filth you're into (laughs) (laughs) one more time sorry I'm having (laughs) issues no that's all right uh, looking at this pipe full of uh, sludge and asking you if that's the kind of is that maybe more your wheelhouse a little bit? Do you know anything no, about that? Nope? No? Okay. No. I don't even know why you were saying that. I uh, just, you know, mushroom fungoid thing. You think we, we know all fungoid? But... No, no. I was just asking. No, 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 I don't know this one. All right, that's true. Okay. 
So who should go first? <laughs> I'll, um, I'll check to see if this sludge is flammable. I'll light up a torch and hold it to the sludge. Uh, it's not flammable. It does not ignite. Okay, in that case, What's... I will... Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Though? Well, I'm going to investigate the pipe, so I don't want to be covered in stuff that will light me on fire later. That's fair. Yeah. Um, okay, that is Tree fair. friend. Yes. You. All right, don't take this the wrong way, but you are much larger than the rest of us. If you went first, you might clear some of the sludge for the rest of us. So it would mostly just be you dealing with a lot of it and the rest of us, not so much of it. Hmm. I mean, I could go through, but I would also, it would collect. I mean, fair enough. You're, you're paying for a trip to the spa for me after this, though. Fair. Uh, we will both go. All right. I'll lead on through the pipe. Uh, you're going to need to give me a save. Um, save versus shit. Is that just a standard test? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, no. Uh, as you start hacking and like throwing up in front of you and then you got to climb through it, this is going to go ahead and just take a point of damage from you. Just cool. But the rest of you continue on. You do need to give me a save, and seeing as that the majority of it is being cleared, I'll let you save with advantage. Ooh. Oh, nice. Why did you roll no. D6 plus three? I'm still messing with my audio, so I'm doing multiple things at the same time. Okay. Well, you rolled a D6, and you got a five, so that's success. Uh, Jake, Jerry, <laughs> uh, you throw up all over Brute's feet as you're moving along, uh, and he, like, flails and kicks you in the face. You take a point of damage. That's fair. Eventually, you can hear the sound of rain ahead. It is all of a sudden brute. It drops you into like a small pond. It's night. You're outside. For you, the water's like shin deep. You help your friends out. Collapse to my knees and cry in the rain. Yeah, you do. <laughs> And yes, um, help my friends out. Yeah, you help your friends out. And as you're all kind of standing there, figuring out what to do, all of a sudden, this fluid starts kind of like accumulating in the center of this pool. Uh, where's it at? Right there into such a tiny Your hands. a big old poo monster <sighs> and it roars the words let me make sure i say the right words 10 robins is a hack as then it moves into attack all okay. right So initiative? Yeah, we're going to do initiative. Let me get you all added to the track. Ooh, I get an advantage on initiative. Uh, and then you can roll your initiative. We're missing, we're missing Tyler. Oh, gosh. Sorry. Um, if you just go to the little fist tab, you can click the die. Yeah, there you go. Wait, do we all get advantage? I don't know. You no, rolled 2d6. I shouldn't have, I don't think. 
Oh, well, well, I'm not changing it now. All right, well. Uh, Tyler, you are up Fuck first. Up. All right, I'm going to smack it with my club. While You're screaming, right I am Groot. To the shit monster. I'm yelling, sorry, I, am, I am Brute. You're going to get a brute. suit, man. I'm sorry. It's less than 30 seconds. It's fine, right? I think so. Yeah, so in this game, so everyone's clear, you get two actions on your turn. You can use your... I think actually, like, you know, there's no differentiation differentiating it. You can move. You can move twice. You can attack. You can attack twice. Uh, they've even got some specialty things you can do. Like uh, evade to make it harder to hit. Focus so it's easier for you to hit people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you run up. You hit... You deal a point of damage to this thing. Uh, you uh, movement was one, and there was one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me check something real quick. Okay. Next up is rain. Hey. I'm going to move up and take a big old claw swing at it. Sure. All right. So I have mastery with my claw, so it's still just a standard test though, right? Uh, mastery is you roll with advantage. But I miss. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Let me double check that. Um, it's tech standard, yada, yada, yada. Okay, yeah. Masteries, you've got advantage. You could choose to take the focus action. It means that you succeed on a four, five, or six. But okay. you run up, you bring Big shame, whiff. and you miss. And the turn passes to Jerry. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna... I don't know how to make it... Oh, yep, right here. Okay. I'm going to take a turn to focus and then fire. Sure. Nice. Uh, so you nice. pop off on four, fives, and sixes. So yeah, that's a that's a hit. You deal a point of damage. Yeah. I didn't come here to learn trivia. Finally, sexy. Sexy. <laughs> Sexy explodes. Man, my allergies are killing me today. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to run up and attack. Sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's a nice. success. You rolled as Tyler somehow. That'll work out. It's, it's fine. But yeah. Um, I have, uh, I'm a martial artist, and I also have weapon focus. So does that mean I do two damage? Uh, I think so. Let's take a look at what Weapon Focus does. Uh, you mastered tax due plus one. Uh, and are you mastered in your, your melee attacks? Mm-hmm. Now my martial yeah. arts. You deal two damage there. Hell nice. yeah. The shit monster, the Shaw shit monster. You can see some of this damage that you've done on it starts to kind of like heal up. Um, so everyone but Jake is in melee range. Uh, so it's going to move in on Brute. And Brute, it is going to take an attack at you. Okay. Uh, I do get a success, so you take another point of damage. It's fine. And Brute, it's back up on you. All right. Um. Uh, I'm going to more angrily yell, I am Brute, and then swing at it with my club again. Then you miss. And angrily again. Then you miss. <laughs> In my rage, I missed. Rain, save the day. All right. Give a shot. Uh, I'm gonna. It, it didn't move away from me, correct? No. All right. So I will focus and take a cross right. 
No. You swing again? Oh, you focused. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jake? Uh, gonna focus and take another shot. There you go. Nice. There's a hit. All right, Alex. Punched this guy twice. Nice. Uh, four. Yep, that's a miss. That is a oh, hit, yeah. so that's two damage. As it then passes back to the Shaw shit monster, it heals up a little bit more. Uh, it is going to focus and then swing at Rain. Alrighty. Yeah, that's a point of damage. As just this no, big never... sludgy hand like slaps you across the face, passes back over to Brute. Oh, I can smell it. Yeah, you in can. My nostrils. So Tyler, what do you got? Uh, I mean, I still I have flip. a club. Yeah. It's not doing very well, but Did you I focus? am. No. Okay. I should have focused. Uh, is the club what you have mastery in? Yes. Oh, that means I get advantage, right? You would have gotten advantage, but you got one hit. Oh, well. I did it. And then terrain. All right. Uh, I'm just going to swing twice. Claw. That's a hit. Claw. And that's... Oh, that's a five. That's a hit. As you claw into this thing, all of a sudden... It roars out in pain and just starts dissolving with the rain. You've slain it. Oh. Combat is over. And from behind you, kind of in the direction of where that pipe is, you hear a... <clears throat> and you all look back and you see award-winning actor Morgan Freeman. Who the hell is Tim Robbins anyway? Nothing but a hack. That role should have gone to Tom Hanks. Mm -hmm. And he, he tosses something to you, Rain. Okay. What is it? You look at it, and it is a, a placard for a TBN, or I'm sorry, a TBS Daytime Movie Award. Uh, and you can see the inscription on it um, for best actor. Tim Robbins has been scratched out and Tom Hanks has been kind of roughly etched into it directly beneath that. <laughs> All right. And I walk over and scratch Tom Hanks out and put George Clooney. <laughs> Throw a gauntlet. As you're doing that, all of a sudden you realize you're dry the water's gone, and you're standing back in that room with a weird display case. And now there's only five doors. Uh, As the display the case door swings open, do you put it on a shelf? Yes, I do. And then it closes. All right. Five more to go. Which one? I will spin my arrow again. All right, Jake, roll me a d6. If it's a six, you reroll. Four. Okay, you move up to now door number four. And as you open it, you can see it is a, a town just destroyed and rubble you can hear gunfire in the distance um smoke rising up all over and from this small building a little ways ahead you can hear the cries of someone calling for help rain will immediately head in look around uh give me standard who needs help Yeah. 
Yeah, you can tell the, the cries for help are coming from that building that's right in front of you. I'll head towards it. Yeah. As you're all making your way to it, all of a sudden, someone leaps out and attacks, and you realize that you've been surrounded. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. By Nazi oh, zombies. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Uh, and since. Cannibals, what did I tell you? Cannibals. Technically. Yeah. Technically, yeah. I mean, yeah, good point. Why is this zombie. Oh, I got the mouse cursors on. I was so confused. Uh, let me give me a second here. Maybe this. I didn't have time to make up a new zombie token, so we're using the Yambies from Thunder <laughs> Rift. It's okay. It's fair. Uh, we're going to use this. I'm going to go ahead and get them added. But one of them gets a free attack on you. Uh, Brian's. Yeah, it gets your point of damage. Oh, it's uh, no good. All right. Uh, everyone, roll initiative. Is there a way for me to roll it with advantage? Uh, just roll an advantage test, and I can just manually update your number. All right. Sounds good. Although it looks like... There it is. Uh, what is that, nine? Yep. Okay. Is another one of these moves up to you and takes a swipe. But it misses. Uh, as they groan out the word brains in German. Uh, Rain, you're up. Uh, I'm going to uh, claw claw. Okay. On one of them. Damn it. It's right on you. So I'll tell you this. You swing, you claw, claw, but you realize that your first claw swipe just utterly destroyed this one. Okay. Could I redirect my other claw at the other one? Sure, I'll let you do that. And your other okay. claw was an attack. You yep. immediately drop that one as well. Err. As another one closes in on you. Nice. And misses. Jake. I'm going to take the... focus on the one that just attacked and shoot at it. Yeah, four Nazi zombies are closing in on rain. That's a hit. Nice. As you drop that one. Nice. Uh, Tyler Brute. Um... Let's see. I am brute, and I start swinging at these zombies. Nice. Yeah, you drop one. And there, there's more within melee range. Yeah. All right. I am brute. Ah. Uh, too tall at whiffed over his uh -huh. head. Um, brute. One of these attacks you back. It misses. Alex, two Nazi Silly zombies. Puny human. The brains. Do I need to move to attack them? You will need to move to close in, yeah. I'm going to move. And then right. I can focus on this one, right? Uh, you have two actions, and choosing to focus is an action as well. So your move would be one, and then your attack would be one. Okay. To I'm focus, go ahead and do you, that. you gotta give up moving. All oh, right. so to focus, I have to give up moving. Yes, you've only got two actions every turn. Yeah, and to attack is an action, to move is an action. But you move up to one, and you fucking murder it. 
Hell yeah, brother. As the last Nazi zombie. Moves up to you, sexy. And misses. As he should. Uh, and then the turn passes back up to Rain. All right. Rain will move over to the one attacking sexy and take a swipe. Sure. Bye, miss. Jake, what is Jerry going to do? Uh, I'm tired of being shown up with these uh, cool martial arts moves and uh, bear attacks. So I'm going to run up and try to punch, uh, oh. punch him. Uh, do you have proficiency in punch? Nope. So this will be with disadvantage. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> you miss that wildly. Well. <laughs> trip over one zombie body. Tyler, it's Brute's turn. There's only one guy left, so I know what I'm swinging at. Yeah. And you kill it. Now that the zombies have been dealt with, it'll be very easy for you to, you know, you still hear someone crying out for help from inside this building. What do you Can want to do? The building. What's that? Animals confirmed. Rain? Yeah, Rain is going to go like search in the building for whoever this is crying for help. Yeah, well, I feel like we need to go. You do. You head inside and you find an injured Academy Award winning actor, Vin Diesel. You got to help me. I can't do a Vin Diesel voice. I'm not even going to try. Yo, you got to help me. That's not it either. I'm just going to give up. <laughs> Hey, you gotta help me, guys. <laughs> Which is what we tell Vin Diesel. Hey, you just gotta give up. Hey, help me. <laughs> I've been shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Vin Diesel. Family. <laughs> At least it's not uh, family. Yeah, Vin Diesel's like, you gotta help me. I gotta get out of here. I've been shot. That fucking Matt Damon stole my car. <laughs> well, let's go kick his ass. <laughs> I'll help him up. Yeah, you help him up, and he's like, oh, hang on. I got something for you. And he reaches into his pack, this and he pulls out note. an Empire Award. Uh, a lesser-known movie award ceremony uh, for Tom Hanks' best supporting actor. And he hands it to you, Jerry. My family gave me this. <laughs> do you I'll, take it yeah i'll take it yeah i'll take it and i'll put it in my quiver as soon as you take it and you <laughs> put it in your quiver all of a sudden just like wayne's world like doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, and you find all of you back in the central room there are now four doors what a crock of shit i was gonna beat up matt damon and take his car this is put it put it in the case what's a car i don't know so yeah i'll put the treasure into the case I was thinking it was like a cart that's like missing a wheel. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you put it in the case. Case closes. There's now three doors. No, four doors. I will spin the arrow. Roll a d4. Okay, you move up to the first door. You swing the door open. And you're looking out on another jungle. Doesn't seem to be the same kind of jungle as what was on the island. And you can hear machine gun fire. Hmm. Do we know what that is? Uh, we're going to say yes, because fuck it, if I wrote this using common sense. <laughs> I guess we go in. I say one of you guys go first. I'll go first. Yeah, Rain, you step in. I'll gladly go second in that case. I'll go in there. I'm going to 
say hello to my tree brethren. Oh, we have to rescue the forest. And Rain, as you step in, you didn't see him at first, but a man dressed in like green camouflage army fatigues. He grabs you by your your pant leg. You can see he's badly injured. Uh, you gotta get him. He's pinned down. You gotta help him. Stay over in those trees. Who do we have to get? You gotta help Baba. All right, good. Uh, okay. But you gotta be careful. There? Hey, that way, just yeah. head down the trail, but you gotta be careful. Careful. All right. He's I'll out just, there. I'll just run down the trail. Who is out there? <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. Jake, you start running. Give me a save. <laughs> Mercifully, I'm resolute, so I make all my saves with advantage. Nice. Nice. And it does me no good. <laughs> you get about 20 yards. And yeah, all like of a hear. sudden, the ground gives out underneath of you, and you fall into a pit trap, landing on like rocks, rubble, sharp bits of stick. You take a point of damage from it. Who decided to go to war with Macaulay Culkin? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna get down at all fours and go over to the hole. Look over. You dead? <laughs> If you try to rescue me, they'll get you. Just keep going. How far down is he? Maybe seven feet. Oh, I'll just reach my arm down there. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Root, you, yeah. you got this? Yeah, uh, we got. I got this. Sexy Fred, give me a, a test. Standard. That's you, Alex. Give me just a second. Yeah. If you open your character sheet, you can just click the standard button up top. <laughs> Nice, didn't know about that. Hey. You succeed. And as Rain and Brute are helping Jerry out of this pit, you can see something moving incredibly fast through the jungle. You can hear a strange mechanical noise going along with it. Um, you only pulled one success, so I'm not going to give you any more than that. But you definitely get the idea that something is stalking all of you. I stopped Jake's character. I'm sweating a little bit. Yeah. I look him dead in the face and go, it's over there. It's over there in them trees. And I point to where I saw it. <laughs> I'll look at Brute and I'll be like, I don't see anything. Over there in them trees. <laughs> oh, them trees got all right. <laughs> <laughs> So, you saw me, did you? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, talk. Oh, I forgot to, hang on, I forgot to show the jungle picture. It is. Here's the jungle. As the dreaded war criminal, cybernetic monster, Lieutenant Dan. Oh, no. <laughs> Steps out of the foliage. Oh, no. <laughs> all of you. I need to zoom in. Oh wait, he steps out. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> He's got these fancy cybernetic legs, man. Oh, okay. magic right. legs. Uh, all of you except for Jerry needs to make a save because Jerry, you're still in the hole. <laughs> Cause, Cause, Alex stopped. Fail. Ugh. Okay. Uh, Alex, can you give me a standard test? Standard test. Yeah. You all what am fail. I testing for? So this is a save because you see Lieutenant Dan like just squat down, power squat. And little, you know, covers on his cybernetic knees pop open. And all of a sudden, you hear the sound 
of automatic machine gun fire as each of you go diving for cover. Each of you take a point of damage. Is anyone dead uh, yet? Oh, I take yep. damage? Yeah, you take a point. Yeah. Guys. What's that? Sucks for you guys. <laughs> How much I, I, do you have, Alex? When I take damage, all living creatures who are nearby must make a saving test or lose one action on their next turn. Oh, God. Take care so I'm a right fun boy. Yeah, uh, I, I might be the only one nearby because I was the one reaching for him. Uh, no, I'm gonna say your 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 cloud poof is big enough to get everyone, including Lieutenant Dan. You said it's a standard test. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Lieutenant Dan does fail though. That's good. Uh, all that's happened is I've lost all my armor. Oh, nice. And then we're just right back into initiative. I didn't put a lot of thought in this adventure. That, that should be my initiative. All right. What was your initiative, John? 16. Ah. <laughs> I, I may be going first, maybe. You're definitely going first. Yeah. Yeah, John, you're up. All right. Uh, do I have to move to get to Lieutenant Dan? You do, yeah. All right. Well, that'll be my action is to move to Lieutenant Dan. Because uh, I lost one. You did. Spores. <laughs> Good thing is Lieutenant Dan also lost uh, an action. Oh, bad good. Thing, I seem in the trouble of moving. Yeah. Yeah. Bad <laughs> thing is, is Lieutenant Dan is still squat down. So he shoots at you again with his NASA super cool robot legs. Standard test. Oh, and he fails. Uh, Jake, Jerry's still in the hole. Yep, I'm going to try to climb up Brute to get out of the hole. Uh, yeah, did you pass or fail that save? Oh, uh, my apologies. You do pass it. I'll I did tell pass. you what, since you've got two actions, if you spend both actions, I'll let you climb out without a test. If you only want to spend one action to climb out, I'll, you're going to have to make a test. I will try to spend one action to climb out. Sure. Give me a standard test. You do climb yeah. out. Yeah. And now I'm going to take a shot at Lieutenant Dan. Get him. All right. That should have been advantage. My apologies. Just throw another D6 out there. With that extra D6, that's a hit. You put a point of damage on Lieutenant Dan. Nice. And it's dying. There we go. Okay. Alex, you're up. You'd have to spend an action to move up if you want to get into melee range. I'm just going to run up in melee. Sure. You hit him. That's two points of damage. Tyler. Uh, I'm gonna try and snap them legs off with my uh, fucking club. Sure. Nice. And you run up and you swing hard at his knees and you just rip both of his cybernetic knees off. He's lying there, oil spraying out of his torso. I don't want your damn ice cream. He dies, <coughs> and you hear. I, I, that's what's happening. <coughs> I don't know. And with I say I don't know, and then I just I bite his head off. You do. You bite his head off. Not a problem. <laughs> I need a cybernetic face after of, that. A lot of metal in there. As you that hear, makes the most sense. Crying oh, out crunchy. somewhere in the distance, Forest, help me, Forest. Brute, that's you. Come on. Let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> I am the forest. You are. Uh, give me a standard test there, Brute. Good. You don't fall in any other traps. Well done. Eventually, you find Bubba 
lying there, shot in the chest. I'm so cold, Forrest. I just miss my shrimp. Fried shrimp? Just promise me. Wall shrimp? Promise me that whenever you eat a shrimp, you'll always think of those tender nights we had together. Is he talking to you? Though? Yeah, he's talking to Brute. Brute, you gotta snuggle him. I'll, I'll snuggle, Lieutenant. I'll snuggle, Bubba. Here, I want you to... I'll hold him to my chest. You do, and then with his dying breaths, he hands you an Academy Award for Best Actor. <laughs> and then Wayne's World. <laughs> There's now three doors. Do you put the award in the uh, thing? Yeah. Okay, you do. Hey, Jerry, did you put yours in the thing? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. I couldn't remember if you took out your cover or not. Uh, there is, I don't know, remember how many I said last time. There's. It should be three left. Two. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. One, two, three. There's three left. <coughs> One on the left? Yeah. Yeah. All right, door number one. Sure. This one, you open it up, and it is a pitch black room, except for one thing, very, very visible. On the ground is a large keyboard. Like on a piano? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> I'll step on one of the keys. Just step on one randomly? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> sure. Not a problem. <clears throat> As you step on a key, the room starts shaking. You have chosen poorly and all of a sudden a giant baby's head materializes flying in the air flapping its ears <laughs> that is that is god dang horrible <laughs> Now, Holy crap. Oh my god. You will die. <laughs> Fuck Christ, what am I even doing anymore? <laughs> Rain, do you need to give me a save? Yeah, okay. Cool. Fuck me. <laughs> uh -huh. uh... to know. Uh, because the creature has touched you with its madness, it has advantage on all actions it takes against you, and you have disadvantage on all actions you take against it. Fair. God damn it. This is what I get for being, like, just in a really funky place, dealing <laughs> with work shit, not thinking mm -hmm. right. I was sitting there. I need to come up with something to run tonight. You know what's a funny phrase? Hanks to know you. Oh, let's just make a fucking Tom Hanks dungeon. How are we going to put this together? Don't think about it, Chuck. Just make it as dumb as you possibly can. Uh, everyone roll initiative. There's nothing wrong with any of this. Now, am I rolling uh, with disadvantage? With okay. Yes. We all are. Well, for you, uh, Rain, oh. it would be a standard test since you had advantage. So okay. throw another D6 and we'll add those together. All right. So we got 11. 11? Still not bad. Mm -hmm. Everyone else roll advantage, too. Not mm -hmm. roll it. I'm sorry. Roll initiative. Wrong word. Words are hard. <coughs> 
<coughs> Alex is giant floating baby head Tom Hanks as seen in the movie Big starts closing in to attack Rain. It is your turn. I'm running up and attacking it. Yeah. That's a hit. You deal two damage, right? Yep, yep. I assume with my movement I can only attack once. Yes, that's correct. John. Yeah. It's all up in your business. Well, I'm going to claw at it. Ears. Yeah. So, so it would be a standard test then, right? So if you had mastery, that would be advantage. So yeah, it would pull it down to standard. All right. Claw one. Oh, big fan. No. Claw two. No. I'm just shaking and disturbed by this yeah. Yeah. thing. Uh, Jerry, what are you going to do? I'm going to try to take two shots at this thing. Okay. It fight fires, not Tom Hanks. One. And two. All right. Nice. Brute. I am brute. I'm going to swat the fucking baby out of the air. Nice. Success, that's a point of damage. Uh, he was flying over us, right? He was l hovering over the ground. All right. Uh, do I get a second attack then? Uh, you would have had to close in on him. Okay. That's what I wasn't sure about. Uh, it is now Baby Hank's turn. Uh, its eyes glow. And it shoots two lasers, each of them at rain. So there's a point of damage there. And a point of damage there. So rain, you take two points of damage. The sexy scars friend. just make me sexier. Yeah. I think I'm just going to take twice. Might as well. Yeah. You kill it. Oh, oh yes. You got two points of damage you do. That is enough. As you punch through this thing's cheek, fucking like just tear its skull cavity apart, it drops to the ground and starts melting away. And in the puddle of goo that was Monster Baby Tom Hank Flying Head is a Golden Globe Award. Nice. Do you take it? Badly. Yeah, you pick it up <laughs> and then diddle -doo, diddle -doo, diddle -doo. you're back in the room. Do you put the award in the display case? I mean, uh, yeah. There are two doors remaining. Flip a coin. Just roll a d4. One to two is room one. Three to four is room two. Oh, wait. Yes. As... I like this one. This is one I don't regret making. I do, but I don't. Oh, boy. Mm. As the door opens, you can see it looks into this monstrously huge room. Like, you all are... Like, it's so big, you could easily walk under the furniture. Just a huge room, massive room. I don't like in this. What do y'all do? I'm not used to being small. I'll cautiously enter. Okay. Do you all yeah. enter? Yeah. As you do, same thing. Door shuts and disappears behind you. But you look at each other and you realize that you are all now 
computer animated. A la Toy Story. Do I look like a stuffed bear? You do. Excellent. As you hear from the nearby dresser, you can see a crowd of toys standing up there. And you can hear the cry out. Buzz, you don't got to do this. Buzz, we can talk this through. Buzz, no, what would Andy think? Put the gun down, Buzz, please. <laughs> yeah. Don't jump, Andy. <laughs> Buzz. Fall with style. <laughs> Get around. What do y'all do? <laughs> I cautiously approach the commotion. Yeah. yeah, I will also approach with bow and arrow at the ready. As you do, you're moving up to the dresser. You can see there seems to be a way you could climb up without a lot of trouble. But out from underneath the dresser, skitters. Mr. Potato Head. Ah! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Have you seen... My eye. Oh, man, I'm going <laughs> to. Where did this god awful mutant crawl out of? Out from underneath, like the dresser, or the, you know, the, the dresser that. Oh, God. I'm going to point was. underneath the bed and I'll Looks say, like I he's gone rancid. I think this Buzz a, has it. That is from like a Keen Peel movie. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the fucking monster from Nope. <laughs> All uh, I can hear is like a slow down version of you got a friend in me. <laughs> okay, so you're trying to just tell it that its eye is underneath. Yeah. Um what was your family's profession? Linguist, but I do have the charismatic trait, so I gain advantage when attempting to convince someone of something or otherwise influence right. them. We're nice. going to do an opposed... You're going to make your test with advantage. All right. It's going to make a test to resist your knowledge. I rolled one success. Oh, no. It's not under there. I see it now. It's on your face. You got a <laughs> this is amazing. Good God. <laughs> Give me a second because I forgot to add this token. Uh, luckily, actually, while I'm doing this, hey, don't move that. Uh, right. I gotta hit end combat first, and then I can hit start combat. All right, why don't you all start getting your initiative plugged in? I got an eleven, Chuck. Uh, let me update that. Jake, did you roll initiative? I thought I did. Oh. No. Guess not. You got a friend. <laughs> John? Yeah. Just getting more and more distorted. Uh, do I have to close it this thing or am I next nah, to it? No, it's all up. It came right up to you all. All right. Uh, claw on it twice. Yeah. <coughs> hey, there's it. That's it. That's all I want and to miss. Jake, Take it. what is Jerry doing? I'm going to run away from it, then take a shot. Okay, you move <laughs> and then you shoot. That's a Hey, there we go. All right. Tyler, what's Brute doing? Um, I mean, 
I want to smush this fucking weird ass potato. Sure. Sammy, look at it. Don't just <laughs> laugh. It's Mr. Potato yeah. Head. Show some respect to the classics. It's Spider Potato Head. I, I forgot to scream at it that I was going to make it Julianne. Mr. Spitator Head. I like that. Okay. Spitator Head. There's a point of damage. Are you just swinging once? Oh, you Oh. Uh, yeah, fucking rancid potato bitch. Nice. You hit it twice. Nice. Alex, what is Sexy Fred doing? Do I need to run up to hit it? No. I'm hitting it twice. There's one. <coughs> oh. All right, if you get a success on the second swing, ooh, you do not... But it's got its eye on Jerry. Jerry. It is going to do a special attack against you. Oh, no. Because of this, it's going to do it a disadvantage. If it succeeds, it will rip out one of your eyes. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, ow. You take a oh. point of damage. Is half oh, of no. your world goes dark, and you can see this little pence of the rest of you see just rips out Fred's eye, not Fred, Jerry's eye, and attaches it to its empty eye socket. Thanks. As it turns and starts skittering back underneath the dresser. John, what's Rain gonna do? Uh, uh can I get to it and take a swipe? You could, yeah, use your action. You, you kill it. You stab you it in the back. I'll gently, like, pluck the eyeball out and just walk over and give it to Jerry. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what you could do with this, but I gave it back. Listen, if we get into a doctor quickly enough... <laughs> uh, you know, just because it's funny and you all are technically cartoons right now. Uh, Jerry, give me a give me a disadvantage test. Okay. Oh. Uh, nope. Uh, I'm not going to punish you uh, with, you know, you do range, but usually like when you shoot, you always squint one eye closed. Um, yeah. Go to You're squish the eyeball in and it just... Pop, pops. <laughs> yeah, you got some jelly on your cheek. You can see there's a way to climb up as you hear the cries. Buzz, don't do it. Put down the knife, Buzz. This won't do anything. As you hear chanting of other voices of toys. Enter no. the void. Enter the void. Enter the void. I'm gonna try and climb up there. Yeah, I'm gonna climb up there. I'm just gonna yeah. scream. Everyone my give me a test. foot's going up your void. Everyone oh, get the hell out of that void. Or whoops, uh, that's. Oh, where did my fucking mouse go? No, that's uh. Where did my mouse? Go? Standard test. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I swear my cursor likes to just disappear on me. Alex, you super failed. So all that's happening here is, uh. Those of you who passed managed to really hustle on up. Um, but uh, Alex, sexy, sexy Fred's going to take just a little bit longer to get up. That's all it is. And as you all get up there, you can see these toys are all in a circle and on a crude platform. You see... They're all chanting, you go, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> you see Woody tied down... You know, he's face up on some letter blocks, kind of spread eagle, oh, no. shirts wide. You can see his chest and you can see Buzz Lightyear, prophet of the void, standing over him with a ceremonial dagger. Oh, God, I zoomed into the face. With your fluff, the portal shall be opened. I must get the friend out of you. <laughs> <laughs> what are y'all gonna do? 
Uh, bum rush it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me a standard, yeah, just a test. Give me a test to see if you, sure. you can beat the knife there. <laughs> John, you will. Anyone else who's bum rushing it? Give me that test. I'm yeah. willing to shoot at him. Okay, give me a test. Wow. Oh, nice job, Jake. I got a six. Hell yeah. All right. So, I will say, sexy friend. You're not able to get something off in this su surprise round since you were still climbing up. But the rest of you, uh, we got two bum rushes, so you do beat it there before the knife. Uh, Jake, you launch an arrow, and it strikes. Getting the health to work on these at first. Uh, so snap decision. Rain and Brute, you both make it over there before the knife plunges down. An arrow whistles by you and strikes Buzz Lightyear, Prophet of the Void. How are you two stopping the sacrifice from going through? I'm going to try and... Is, is Woody tied down or is he, he just is like... tied this? down. Damn. I'm... I was Can planning I... to... Oh, no. sorry. Do you want to go first, Charlie? Can I grab the knife out of his hand or try and wrestle it out of his sure. hand? Give me a test. Uh, hold on. Would this be a brute force? Sure. Oh, yeah. I get advantage. Uh, this will be opposed. Oh, you don't get any. So your total score here is uh, seven, eight, nine. Uh, he just is going to do a standard test. Oh, nine. my God. You don't manage to wrench the knife out of his hand. Uh, Rain, what are you doing? Uh, so my plan was I drop to all fours, I barrel into him, and I'm going to try to plow him off of this, whatever, this desk or whatever that we're on. Sure, another opposed test. All right, and this is strength, so yeah. I have strong, so I get to roll with advantage. Okay. Uh, I got a seven, uh, and you knock that out of the park. Um, and you just barrel off? Yep. Yeah. Give me a save. All right. Okay. Uh, you only take one point of fall damage. As when you hit the ground, your squeaker squeaks just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> As the you look around, you see all the other toys that were chanting. They're they're panicked. They look aggressive, but if you look, you can see they're all missing their eyes as they're they're feeling around looking for someone. And Woody's lying there. And Brute, you're right next to him. He's like, quick, you got to get me out of here. Let I'll start untying him, or I'll try and get him untied as quickly as possible. Sure. Uh, so everyone now, except for Rain, is up on this thing as Brute is working on untying. Oh, snap, Diesel Shot, thank you for the raid. Uh, we're playing mm. a tiny dungeon one-shot uh, where we're playing through the life works of the great actor Tom Hanks. Um, and you got a friend of me. So, essentially what I'm asking, Brute, you're working on untying Woody. Jerry and Sexy Fred... What are you two doing to try and keep these blind toy cultists from finding him? I'm also going to try to untie Woody, but uh, since I have nimble fingers, I have advantage on sleight of pan checks. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah. Um, both of you go ahead and make your test. So Tyler, you'll have advantage. Jake, you'll have... I'm sorry, Tar Tyler will be standard. Jake will be advantage. Alex, what are you doing? Just taking like a defensive position in front of them. Like, okay. Uh, you pulled two successes. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, you two quickly get him untied, pull him off. You can see he's been roughed up quite a bit. Ah, quick. I don't know if I can make it out of here. 
But you gotta get this out of here. Don't let them have it or it'll all be over. As he hands you a Nickelodeon's Kid Choice Award. <laughs> uh, of course. Nice. The most important of awards. Do you take it? Do, do you also get slime? Jake, give me a test with disadvantage. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah. As you grab the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Award, and all of a sudden, the from above somewhere, all this green slime drops down over your head, and then you find yourself back in that initial room. But Jerry, you're still Dan covered Schneider in green smiles slime. In the back. Green slime, yeah. Now, is it like the uh, the really slick and clean green slime, or is it like some of the old school chunky with like it's rice and oatmeal? Old school <laughs> chunky, man. God. It's in my eyes. So double good. dare you to get that shit out <laughs> it of your is in your eyes. <laughs> One door remains. You have a lot of guts to say that. Uh, <laughs> well, time for one last uh, test. I don't know who this Tom Hanks fella is, but when I find him, he's a dead man. Mm-hmm. Definitely owes us. All right. <laughs> the go. last door opens up into this strange, small mechanical room. You can see there's a window and just you see blackness and stars outside of it and lying, not lying, floating in the air are three unconscious men. All of them, like I said, unconscious. What do you all do? I go check on one of them. Um, is you go, you move up, you check on one of them. Am I floating too? Yeah, as soon as you move in, you start floating. Oh. Yeah, bro. Be careful, they could be cannibals. You move up. You check on him, he's alive. Um, you can see there, they got like some bruises and stuff, like there's some kind of struggle or fight. Um, but as you're in here, like, you're feeling kind of lightheaded, short of breath almost. Um, looking around? Anything? Uh, you're going to give me a test here, but it's going to be a disadvantage, because I have fair. a feeling that Rain would not know how to handle the interior of the Apollo 13 spacecraft. I can't imagine why. I mean, Ryan. he's a firefighter. <laughs> uh, what do the rest of you do as you move in? Start floating? Anyone else uh, having a hard time breathing? Explore. I'll start checking the three guys' pockets. Maybe they have some sort of award. Um, yeah, you start checking. They don't have an award. Uh, the first guy you can see has a bit of rubber hose. The second guy has a screwdriver. And the third guy has a small, like, like book. And you open up, it's some kind of, like, mechanical, like, schematic kind of thing. Uh, and as you're rummaging through your pocket, uh, one of them, Jake, give me a D6 roll, kind of starts coming, too. All righty. Five. Uh, the one with the black hair that's kind of combed forward comes to... Uh, who the hell are you? We gotta... We gotta fix it. Someone sabotaged the CO2 filters. Okay. Uh, I assume, and I'll hold up the book, I assume this is what... I have to use to fix it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, where, where is the filter? So he is going to help you, and you have the book. You would be doing this at disadvantage, but I'll tell you what. You've got two sources of assistance. You'll get to make this with advantage. 
Oh boy. Ooh. Hell yeah. Ooh. Okay. I don't like that at all. Everyone make a save. Standard. Ooh. I get I advantage am. on saves. Uh, so it looks like Tyler failed. I rolled a six. Yeah, Tyler failed. As Wait. all of a sudden, Brute... No, you're fine, Brute, because trees <laughs> don't breathe <laughs> oxygen. Hey, we're on our own oxygen scrubber, or CO2 scrubber. You breathe CO2. So, <laughs> Brute, you're feeling fine. Hell yeah. The rest of you are all starting to feel lightheaded. And this dude kind of like snatches the book out of your hand and he tosses it to Rain. Okay. You, you try. We got to fix the CO2 scrubber or we're all going to die. All right. I'll give it a shot. Is it still with advantage? Yeah. Ooh. All right. Uh, everyone... He's got bear claws. He can't hold a screwdriver. Yeah, like, Come on. Uh... <laughs> everyone but Brute make another standard save. Wait, doesn't somebody on our party have nimble fingers? Maybe they should try this. Yeah, I did. Yeah, <laughs> I, still failed. Only get up. <laughs> I failed. Okay. Uh, Rain, you pass out from oxygen deprivation. I'll give it a shot. And so does the dude. So now, oh. Brute, you can try it, but you're at standard. <laughs> brute comes through. You find it using the schematics, and you successfully fix the CO2 scrubbers. All of you, this sense of relief, you can breathe again. And the other, all three of the dudes wake up. Uh, and immediately the three of them start bickering, accusing each other of sabotaging the CO2 scrubber. You did it. I know you did it. I saw you back there in the maintenance hatch. No, you did it. I saw you fucking around with the controls, the environmental controls. Like, no, you did it. And you also stole my sandwich. My, my name was on it. Listen, there's a frozen hot dog in the back. And they turn to the four of you. You all got to help us figure out who sabotaged the CO2 scrubber. Was it Tom Hanks? Uh, there's no Tom Hanks here, but there is Jim. Well, let's go find Jim and kick He's the one crap of the out. three here, yeah. Oh, I'm Jim. Uh, He's the guy who had the screwdriver in his pocket. Wait, what are the three guys' names? Jim, Jack, and Fred. Oh, I don't trust how, Fred. How are the uh, how are the scrubbers? Okay. Uh, Fred is an sabotage. untrustworthy name. Like, it looks for like real? someone disconnected the hose. What's that, Tyler? Not uh, Tyler. So Alex. I was talking shit about people named Fred. Yeah, I said Fred is an untrustworthy oh, name. Oh, we got a sexy Fred though. Do I smell PVP? I mean, that Fred's cool. That Fred right there, he's got like a Weasley face, though. He's not <laughs> sexy at all. No, he's not. That's right. Uh, oh, well, uh, yeah, so... He at least Brute, needs a shower or something. You know that it was sabotage. Someone pulled off the rubber tubing. Who had... Did anyone have the rubber... Somebody had the rubber tubing. Oh, yeah, somebody had the rubber tubing on Rubber him. tubing in his pocket, yeah. A corner jack. jack. Jack, you want to explain what you were doing with rubber tubing in your pocket, buddy? Yeah. It's easy. That's my catheter. Mm. Give it a tug. Make sure it is. Well, it's not attached anymore. I only put that in during my free time. Pull your pants down and show us. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So many good afflictions there. All right. It's yourself. Oh, no. It's <laughs> just for fun. Kid hours. <clears throat> All right. I mean... Who when did you notice this happening and like who would have had access? Well, to my calendar. <laughs> I was in my bunk. 
playing with my catheter. That is not a right thing. And Jim was up here working the console, and Fred was back in the maintenance area. So it must have been Jim, because he's the only one who was in the room where the CO2 scrubber was, where the hose got pulled. Okay. Hmm. Let's go talk to the others. Say so how you talk to Jack. Fred or Jim? Let's talk to Fred. Do Fred, he's the one who had the instruction manual booklet, and he was the one who was in back. Listen, it's got to have been Fred. He says that catheter line, but his catheters are clear tubing, and that was the dark tubing that they use to hook up the CO2 scrubber. So wait, catheters, plural? He's got more than one? Oh yeah, Ew. he's got a whole stash of them, like different like textures and diameters and Ew, fucking pervert. he names them. You know what? I'm judging you also for not throwing him out there a lot. <laughs> I mean, it gets boring up here. It gives us something to watch. <laughs> no, that's not an answer. What happens in space stays in space. Everything happens in space. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no, no. And it all does stay in there. I mean, what happens in space shouldn't involve a catheter. <laughs> <laughs> well, they wouldn't let me take my metal rods up. That's. Oh, oh, you're one of those guys. No sounding rockets for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess you're talking to Fred. Yeah, they wouldn't. We they wouldn't let him take his metal rods up. Too much electrical interference static electricity kind of thing. I think uh, Fred did it. Yeah, let's talk to Jim, though. Let's just... Oh, I was, man, come, I come just say Fred did it. I think Fred Look, did it. I'm, I'm inclined towards Fred as well. I just want to be thorough. Okay, you all go talk to Jim? Yeah. Jim's like, yeah. I am sure it was Fred. He had See? that technical manual on him. He knew exactly which hoses to pull. I was setting up here at the console doing some routine, you know, system checks. All of a sudden, something hit me in the back of the head and I was out. And he shows you. He's got a, you know, cut goose egg on the back of his head. I thought the other guy had the manual. Uh, it was Fred that had the Fred? manual. I'm Jim. Yeah. Jim was the guy in the back. You got a friend in me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, telling you it was Fred. All right. All right, so uh just just for clarity's sake, what color are Jack's catheters? Clear. Okay. I, I think it had to be Jack. That catheter line is just... first of all, one way or another, Jack's going. Second, I think he was the criminal. Yeah, let's Cut throw out the line. guy with the catheter first and then figure this all out. For <laughs> yeah, regardless. Okay. Do you go and take Jack yeah. and throw him in the airlock? Absolutely. You do. You hand we, we hand wave it. You grab him. He's kicking. He's screaming. Toss him in the airlock. Hit the evacuate button. As the airlock repressurizes, you can see there's something floating inside there. You see, it's a Screen Actors Guild Award. Cool. Do you grab it? Sure. And as you grab it... You're back in the main room. This Easy. was the last one. Do you put it in the case? Yes. Yes. And you do so. And as you do, all of a sudden the case erupts into fire. And as it finally clears out, standing in front of you is the legendary actor, oh, no. Tom Hanks, and all of his litchy goodness. Hey, you all freed me. 
That was mighty kind of you. So. Why do I hear the Lavos theme? The what? Not the boss oh. bat. Okay. Yeah. I'd do some time traveling for that one. So. Are you all my new friends? Will you enter my service? Do I get another eye out of it? I can return your eye to you. By service, what do you plan to have us do? Does it involve catheters? God. Yeah, as long as it doesn't involve catheters. What yeah. about cannibals? I do tend to have cannibals in my service from time to time. Now that I'm, I'm finally him. free, and go ahead and make your attack. <laughs> Thank you. Fair. I knew there were cannibals in the damn cave. <laughs> That's a success. I gotta get his health going, right? That's a hit. Uh, he screams in rage as we move back into combat. Oh, I rolled sh super shitty. I got an eight for my initiative. God dang. Alex. Lich Hanks looks horrible. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Do I need to run up? Uh, no, you're all in small room. You're all right there. Oh, darn it. First attack uh, hits. All right, so that's two damage. Nice. I wildly swing at Tom Hanks. As one does. Tyler, what is Brute going to do? Uh, I want to... I want to crush this d dude's uh, slightly enlarged forehead. Sure. Five head. Sure. Six head. Distracted by the sweat gleaming off of it. Uh, was that a miss? Yes, it was. Give me just a second. Oh. That's one point of damage. Uh, Go. No. Ah, eh, fuck it. All right. Yeah, you get it. No, Tyler, you missed. How dare you? No, I missed. John. All right. Uh, so did the case with the awards turn into Tom Hanks the Lich? Or... Uh, maybe. Okay. It's gone I, now. It's gone. Okay. That's all I want to know. Then I am going to claw Tom Hanks in his handsome and dignified features. Sure. Uh You hit? Claw so, one hits. Claw two hits. Double hit. Jake? I'm going to take a couple shots at him. Sure. Shot number one. And hit. Shot number two. Hit. All right. Passes to Hanks the Lich. As he starts casting a spell that explodes out from him as he screams, I am the captain. Oh, but the spell fails. God mm. damn it. Fuck. So he is just going to punch. He's just going to punch Rain in the nose. And he misses. Oh my gosh. Sexy Fred, you're up. Wow, that's that's what I like. Ooh. 
Oh, double miss. That's rough. Tyler, what is Brute going to do? Um, trying to crush his head again. Um, if Forge will let me. I was logged in, White. Whatever. Is it being dumb? Yeah. You want me to hit buttons for you? No, I got it. All right. Uh, I'm going to focus with my first move. Sure. And then smack him with my second. So four, five, and six hit. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, no. The Lich Tom Hanks cannot be defeated. What is Rain going to do? Uh, continue mauling. <clears throat> Bam. Luckily, <laughs> nice. Your first attack does it. As you maul the Lich Tom Hanks to death, and he dissolves and vanishes in smoke, and all that remains is a small dagger with a serpent skin hilt lying there, and etched into the blade are the letters M M. I go over to the dagger. Yeah. Uh, you're, the, whatever you just said didn't come through. Okay. I picked that bad boy up. You pick the bad boy up. You feel a surge of energy. Give me a save. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, you pass. As you feel some strange energy trying to enter you, but you resist it. You know that surely this must be the Lich Tom Hanks phylactery. Cast away. Yeah. What do you do? Would be the first thing I would do with this new untold power. I mean, you could wield it and be immensely powerful. But you know, the only way to kill a lich is to destroy the phylactery. I'm probably gonna spike that bad boy. Okay, give me a give me a test. I'll stomp on it if it needs additional. Okay. Yeah, same. You throw it into the ground. Nice. Part of the blade chips, and you can see that it's starting to like shake. Okay. Uh, brute, go ahead and give me like a might based skill test. I am Tom Hanks. The stomp it again. <laughs> you can see the blade starts to bend. Oh snap! Lollygaggers, thank you for the raid. Uh, we just killed the Lich Tom Hanks, and they're trying to destroy its phylactery. It probably needs another hit, though, to truly take it out. Come on, bear. Uh, I'll do it. Body slam it. There you go. There's the final success. Yes, <laughs> thank you for the raid as you stomp on it. And it snaps and breaks and unleashes this wave of energy as you feel the eternally dreadful life energy of Tom Hanks fade from the world. Finally. Congratulations. <laughs> you all have finally defeated Tom Hanks. Oh, I know. here in the background. Mom always says I was effort. part of Steve, life. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I decided that Tom Hanks... <laughs> Needed some action today. Uh, let me show you all some pictures of the things that they had to deal with. Uh, so here, of course, is the Lich Tom Hanks. Uh, they had to fight Bionic Lieutenant Dan. Um, they had to defeat Buzz Lightyear, Prophet of the Void. Um, what else? They had to figure out which one of these three astronauts sabotaged the CO2 scrubber on Apollo 13. Uh, they got to meet Morgan Freeman. Uh, Mr. Potato Head here stole Jake's eye. Uh, they escaped from Shawshank Prison and had to fight a poo monster. Um, but I think that was just jealousy on Tom Hanks because Morgan Freeman showed up after that and he's just like... Who the hell is Tim Robbins anyway? Uh, they had to fight a giant flying baby Tom Hanks head. 
Uh, they saved Vin Diesel after Matt Damon stole his car. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, and they met Wilson, who escorted them into this test. I don't know. Good job. You all defeated Tom Hanks. Had to be done. Had to be done. Yeah, be done. I, I knew it. There were cannibals in here. As yep. usual. Uh, shit. I don't know. We've completed it. Good job, Lollygaggers. You made it just in time. Uh, has anyone got anything going on this week they want to talk about? Looking at you, John. Uh, I don't have anything aside from games with you all. Nice. So. Yeah, Savage Race won't be until later in September. So. Oh. Than that cool you got a friend uh, so that'll be on slices and dices let's see yeah uh i don't know defenders of cobalt it is friday uh so if you head over tomorrow night to grim and perilous plays jeff from the lollygaggers will be running us through some heart uh he says he hates it but he loves he, it he's super excited about it you can super see the joy excited. in his face so much joy every time uh, Sunday night over on Birch Channel, Steam, Steel, and Murder. Uh, I'll be playing, Jake and I'll be playing some Shadowrun. Uh, Monday night on well, Lollygaggers. Most of you came from Lollygaggers. Jeff's going to be running some hauler, hauler, and I'll be there for that. Uh, Wednesday here on Defenders, um, I'll be running some Thunder Rift. Uh, I'm using Fantasy Age. Uh, John's there for that, trying to solve this strange yam-based mystery. Mm. Ulrich doesn't trust me. Tasty. Ulrich doesn't trust you. Uh, Thursday, sad. we're going to be doing some more Tales from the Loop with our campaign Through the Hedgerows, which is uh, loosely based, uh, loosely inspired by Over the Garden Wall. And Friday, we'll be back. Hopefully, Joe and Dan will return, and we can continue on with Dungeon Crawl Classics Dead Sun. Um, because, yeah, last time, the party made every wrong decision and ended up getting lost in time. It was amazing. We uh, made excellent, smart choices. You we did. are very smart people. Uh, final thing to talk about. I have an adventure up for sale on Drive-Thru RPG right now called The Kids Aren't All Right. It's a Zweihander basic tier adventure. It's what we ran at Gen Con. Print on demand is still in the works, waiting for the proof, but you can pick up the PDF if you only want the PDF. Uh, if not, you might hold out for that print on demand because the print on demand will include the PDF. Um, yeah, it's a fun adventure. All the adults in town go missing and the town's being run by kids. You got to figure out what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I don't know. That's it. I, I, I can't. I don't know. We did it. Good job, everyone. We did. You did it. You, we did it. It was a team effort. It was a team effort. We certainly did something. We sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of us. I don't know if I am. Well, anyway. What, what, <laughs> I am did, did Tom Hanks do something inappropriate to you, Jack? <laughs> no, he didn't. Like, really, I was just sitting here like, I want to run something really stupid. And I was feeling... You know, I got some shit going on at work, and I was just like, I need to, I need to vent somehow. So let's make something as dumb as I could, and it just came to me the phrase, "Hanks to know you," and it's like, all right, we're doing a Tom Hanks adventure. How does Tom Hanks play in? <coughs> Tom Hanks is a really nice guy, so he's the villain. It, you know, what's great is you could just expand this because he's got such a portfolio. He is. I, initially, I had some other movies in there, but I'm like, I got to cut it down. It'll take too long. Um, it's got Polar Express. And Polar Express, mm, Captain okay. Phillips. Um, Greyhound. Yeah, Sully. Uh, the, someone just mentioned uh, Green Mile. Road oh, to Perdition. Yeah. Uh, catch me if you can. You could just about do a campaign. We could, but Tom Hanks is dead, so we can never return to this setting. Joe and the Volcano. Wow, that's one I haven't thought Ooh. about in a while. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. All right. If those of you watching, if you don't follow us, you should hit that follow button and make us all feel better about ourselves. Uh, and also, I don't fucking know. Watch us on YouTube. 
follow our social medias, join our Discord, because uh, not only can you talk to us on Discord, that's also where the lollygaggers live. Uh, so you can talk to Jeff and someone who actually, you know, runs games that aren't made of pure madness. And <laughs> um, and it's also where Grim and Perilous Studios live. So you can talk to them about the products they make and the games that they put out. So anyway, I don't fucking know. Until we see you next time, um, go watch a Tom Hanks movie. Punch Matt Damon for stealing Vin Diesel's car. And uh, fuck Tim Robbins. And uh, I am Brute. And you are Brute. Deuces. You got a friend in me. Bye.